Yeah. The flavor was. Yeah. So good. It was like frazzled in the face. And it went like this. And it was so good. Yeah, she busted it. Like, yeah. Ooh, you're in trouble. Yeah. 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 purposes is different than the front kick you would see in a karate class. Front kick in a karate class is more of a snapping type motion. You want to come here and you want to kick and bring it back. What we want to do is we want to throw a front kick that's going to push somebody away. Okay? So when you kick, it's going to be here. Okay? You want to pick your foot up and you literally want to push this person away. This is to gain distance, to get somebody you know, away from you. So when you kick, it's not like, you know, kickboxing class, some of them teach kicks this way. It's not that. You're going to raise and you're going to push. You're going to shoot that hip forward and you're going to push everything forward. Your foot should land in front of you, okay? We're not worried about retracting the leg. I'm not worried about kicking and bringing it back here right now, okay? I want it to go forward. I want it, like you said before, with so the like punches. So it's like you want to do like a funny walk. Almost. Something like that, I guess. That's an interesting way of putting that. Yeah, sure. That helps you. That helps you remember whatever works. I don't care how you think of it. Whatever's going to work for you. So, when you throw your kick, the knee's going to come up first. The knee comes up and you're going to push your foot forward. Okay? So, what you're thinking of is you want to use this. See, now, we don't have shoes on. So, normally if it was just like, I'm wearing a bunch of class, I'd be teaching you to hit the ball on your foot. You have shoes. They're flat. They're solid. So, you're going to hit with the heel. Or you're going to push that whole foot here. Okay? I use everything. It's not, if I have shoes on, I can't point the ball at my foot like I would in a class. So you want to pre preferably take that heel and you want to shoot that heel forward right into this person. So when you're here, the knee comes up, you're going to shoot forward and come down. Okay? Now you want to put your hip right into it. So when you put your hip... Now, this is another thing since I have somebody right here. Targets. Hip, knee, groin. I don't, want to hit it. I don't want to hit him here. For all I know, he's got like abs of steel, and he won't feel the thing I do. Okay? So ideally, if I'm going to kick, I don't want to do this. That, he may not feel anything. For all I know, he's got a Kevlar vest on. I don't know. So what I want to do is I want to hit here. See where this is here? Okay? So when I kick, I want to push. Okay? Now, if we're doing the knee, it's to break. I see I can kick him. So you're going to come here, and you're going to smash down this way. Okay, you're gonna break the knee. If it's the groin, then it's right in here. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, everybody's favorite target. Everybody's favorite target. So, when you kick, you want to think, that's why when we kick, we kick fairly low. It's not high kicks. I don't care about bringing the foot all the way above my head. So, you're gonna either kick here, the hip, you're gonna kick the knee, or you're gonna kick the groin. Everything is nice and low. Those are the targets you want to go for. Same thing like with the palm strikes, I told you target nose. Or under the jaw, the same thing with the kicks. You want to pick targets that are going to work. You want to pick targets that are going to break the person down. Like I said, this is not a fight. We're not squaring off with somebody. You're not going to get points for how many kicks you hit them in the stomach or the chest or that. You want to break this person's structure. You kick out somebody's hips. You kick out their knees. You break the structure. Hopefully, you break something they can't even stand up. That would be great. Sounds funny to say that, right? What about the shin? The shin is a very strong bone. If you kick but the shin hurts. directly, really it hurts. Remember, you don't want to hurt this person. You want to devastate this person. Right. There's a different mentality. Okay? I don't want to hurt him. I want to break him. Okay? That's the switch that has to go off in your head. That switch of thinking, if you hit somebody in the nose and hurt them, they'll be bleeding all over the place. They'll still kill you. You know, so the, men the, the mentality has to be very different. Yeah, you can even take your foot and scrape right down the shit. That hurts like hell. Scrape that skin right off, start bleeding like crazy. That hurts. If I want your gold necklace, do you think it's going to stop me taking it? would stop me. It would stop you. It would stop you. Adrenaline. Perps. First of all, perps don't hurt the same way that private citizens do. Okay. Perps can be shot two, three times, and they'll still stab you if they're trying. Certain targets of the body are hurtful, like the shin is hurtful, but it won't stop a person. It's not, it, that, that's not a stopping move. It's like if I'm shooting, I'm shooting a perp, I'm not going to shoot at his leg. I'm going to shoot center mass because that stops the central nervous system. 
and that's what dropped him. I'm not going to shoot shoulder, arm, all this other BS that you hear people talking about. I'm going to shoot center mass, double tap, bang, bang, and I'm going to move. And it's going to go right in that chest. That stops him. Those targets, shins, the great, the groin, by the way, is great. But remember, every man, from the moment they're born, is warned that women will hit him in the groin so they protect themselves. It also, there are many people, perps out there, who take three or four shots to the groin before they'll even feel anything. Well, you don't want to make the person mad either, right? No, no, no. no. You're mistaking, see, this is what I've talked about before. You're mistaking a fight or an argument for a life and death situation. It calls for a mental deprogramming of ourselves. You cannot think, I don't want to get this guy mad. You have to think, I want to destroy this person. Okay, if that's what you want to do. Now, remember, in self-defense classes, especially for females, I'm not here, he's not here to tell you what to do or how to react to save yourselves. That's up to you. That's your conscience. I can only tell you what I teach officers, what I teach my students, what he teaches his students, and what I teach. Survival is not, I don't want to hurt. That is not survival. Survival is, I am going to destroy. Then you get to go home in one piece or with only a few pieces missing. It's not a fight. It's not, I don't want to hurt you this badly, you know. Oh, I don't want to hurt him. I don't want to get him mad. That doesn't even enter the picture. There should be no madness in there, no anger when you defend yourself. Anger is a bad emotion. It's one of, you're not touching me, so I'm going to break your arm. You're not going to throw me to the floor. I'm going to break you to pieces. I'm going home. And you're going to go to the hospital. That's the mentality. That's survival mentality for self-defense. Otherwise, it's Aikido. Anybody here familiar with Aikido? Aikido is a martial art that you see all over the place where they do all this beautiful soft stuff because they want to blend with karma. They don't want to hurt anybody. So why are you a martial art? Okay, if I come in, he attacks and I come in, and I come in here and I keep my arm like this and put him down real nice and he gets back up as opposed to coming in doing the same thing and saying, what? He's got a knife. Oh, bang! Bang! That's survival. The other one is pretty. Okay? So remember, it's a mental thing. Self-defense is not, I told you, 99% mental. Because of exactly what you said. We don't want to hurt, we don't want to anger. No, 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 no. This person put their hands on you, they're going to suffer. A lot. Okay? You just got a small taste of my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to put that left foot forward. Okay? So remember, knee up, and you shoot that heel forward. And back. Now, when you shoot it forward, remember your hip follows too. We want as much power in it as we can. So it's not this. This is all leg. I want to put my hip forward. I want to shoot everything forward into this person. Okay? So we go. My count. Get away from the corner. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to be outside. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Ready? One. And we come back. Bring the foot back. Back to the Two. You want to come to step. And then you come back. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Three. And come back. Four. Come back. Remember, hips forward, heels forward. Five. Point that heel. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. Switch sides. Remember, everything is going forward. Your hips, your weight, everything is going right into this person. Now we do the other leg. One, come back, two, push, think of pushing, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good, nine, remember, lead with the heel, ten, Good. If you do this, and you get used to pushing this way, you're going to hit with the toes, and you don't want to do it. There's no power. There's no, you're not going to get anything out of that. You want to make sure you extend that heel. So when you push, it's here. My heel's going forward. I'm not doing this. This is a football, soccer kick. That's not going to do anything. You want to come this way. Heel first. So it's like, so that side again. So your right leg is back. Okay. Ready? One. Come back. Two. Shoot those heels forward. Three. And come back. Four. Good. Five. 
Six. Seven. Eight. Go, oh, push this person away. Nine. Shoot four. And ten. Go, switch feet. One other thing. Mm. So foot that mm. stationary. Mm. You do not want to rise up on the balls of your feet. I don't want to do this. I'm unstable. You want to ground yourself into the floor. I want to be here. This is a nice, solid base. Because when you hit something, you don't know what type of recoil you're going to have. So if I'm up on the balls of my feet like this, I'm very, very off balance. So you want to keep yourself nice and grounded. When I kick here, this is flat, this is slightly bent, everything is nice and solid. Okay, don't go up on the balls of your feet when you kick. You want to stay grounded into the floor. All right, other side. One. Come back. Two. Three. Four. Grab me. You all right? Five. You won't even reach her. Six. No, no, no. Four. I feel like I'm like even if someone Seven. was right next to me, I wouldn't be hitting them. Eight. Yeah. Nine. And ten. Remember to distancing is important. If I have somebody who's right here, I'm not gonna try to kick them. Okay? My leg's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, that's right. And if they're over here, well really, I don't have to worry too much if they're this far away. So distancing is important. You know, if you feel, you know, I wanna have them at a distance where I can keep them away. If you feel that they're, you know, if they're a danger to you and they're coming at you. But if I'm here, I'm not gonna be trying to kick anybody. So just keep that in mind. Alright, grab your shield. <laughs> Now you can feel what it's like. Sometimes it'll be easier to get it once you it. kick something. It feels like soap. I hate those things. You're like soap. Yes. Yeah. 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 Same as I've been here twice. I think that's your height. Yeah. 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 All right. So uh, now the person holding the shield can hold it a little lower. Okay. Because yeah. remember, we don't want our kicks coming up high. All right. So no, you blast it. Okay. So when you kick, remember when you're kicking this pad, you're gonna come here. You're gonna come here. Okay. It's nice and low. The person shouldn't be holding it up here because we're not taekwondo people. I'm not kicking right in the face. So we're right down here, and you're gonna push. See, I'm not kicking her hard. I'm not coming here and going, and kicking her hard. <laughs> okay? I want to bring my foot up, and I want to push. Okay? I want to come up here, and I want to push. Okay? I want to keep this person away from me. See how everything goes forward. Okay? That's what we're going for. Okay? We're not coming in here going, bang! And kick. That's a whole other class. All right? So, right foot back. I just want you to get away from me. Right foot back. Here we go. Should we let them push us or are we trying to stand still? You're trying to absorb the, the shot as much as you can. Okay? You want, to, you want to provide some kind of resistance. Now, don't resist the person so much that they're not able to work. You want a little bit of sway, but you don't want to be so loose that they end up in the wall. Okay? So we're a happy medium in between. Alright, here we go. For a minute. Three, two, one, go. Hey, good. Push it. Push it. Remember, you want to think of going forward. Don't even think of that leg back. Think of pushing everything forward. Push. Push. Yeah. Push. Yeah. Straight. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. And like that. You're a little too far. Yeah. Okay, now what you push <laughs>
So now that when I touch the pad, it's going to look like this. And that's why you see this, you get this light little touch. You're not, first of all, from a learning standpoint, you're not going to learn anything, because you're not going to get the feel of what it's like. And from a defense standpoint, you're not going to do anything to this person. So you want to make sure your distance is good enough that you're here. So see, my knee is slightly bent when I touch it. So now I can generate power to push this person right through. Okay? You don't want to be here and do this. This does nothing. This is just a, now just a cardio workout at this point. You're not learning anything. Okay? So you want to make sure your distance is good enough. So I can come here and shoot everything right through. All right? Here we go. Right foot back. Three, two, one, go. Push that person. Yep, with the heel. Okay. So what you want to do is you definitely want to accentuate the heel there. You definitely want to make sure you the heel first. You pull, that, pull your toes back so you hit with the heel. There you go. Let's go. Push that hip forward. Your hip should be going forward. Remember, lead with the heel. Yeah, what's so I'm sweating. I'm not doing it. So, ten seconds. Finish it.
My place, my place, in the summer, in the summer, with four fans, temperatures up to 85. Nice. Just bring back memories of class for you. My daughter, in the summer, with four fans, four fans, temperatures up to 85. The fun part is gone, it's going around, that's the fun part. Wait, I'm sweat, I'm sweat it all out. I know it's hard, but we come from a martial arts school where there's no air conditioning and no windows. So for me, this is normal. Actually, this is harder than this. Yeah, we have windows. Yeah, we don't have windows. Don't open it's just hot. Oh, yeah, it's All right, so now, what happens if the person is closer to you? The person is about this distance from here. Right, so we're going to work on your knees. Oh, I think we all have that one, Dan. Okay. <laughs> I know, so I think women are just bored with that. It's funny. So, what we're going to do is we're going to work on, ideally what you would want to do is you're going to grab the person by the shoulders or by the back of the neck for support, and you're going to bring that knee right up the middle. Okay? When we do it with pads, you're going to put your hands on top of the pads. The pads will be flat. They'll be held this way. So when you throw your knee, you'll come here and throw it up here. Okay? That's because the pads are designed a certain way. So when you do your knees for press press, you're going to come here. Ideally with a person, you're going to grab here or here for balance and come right up. Okay? So, we're going to put our right legs back. You're going to put your hands here. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to bring, you're going to reach out. You're going to bring your hands down and your knees up this way. Okay? Back the back The back Remember, what I always want to do is to have more power, generate more power. Now remember something too, just like the kicks. <laughs> yeah, this is not that fast. <laughs> you can't you can't stop. Yeah, I stop. Yeah, see? <laughs> so, use it. Use it. for this, remember, same thing, you want your hips to move with it. It's not this. If you crouch down, there's no power. You want to come here. See, my hips, everything come forward. Just like the front kick, you shot the hip forward, it's the same thing. Everything comes into it. You want to shoot that leg, that hip, everything right into that person. Okay? So, right leg back, hands are here. Okay, I'll call the numbers. You're going to reach out, bring in, and come back. Ready? One, come back. Two, three, four, five, six, Those hips up, seven, eight. Remember, your job is to pull the pad down into your knee. 
I'm not going to come up and just come. If I do this, the pad's going to shoot right up. Yeah. And the other person's not going to be right. That's what I'm supposed to hold it. Right. So your hand is going to come from here, here, on top, and knee up this way. It's as if you were grabbing a person's shoulders and bringing them down. It's the same concept. So you're here and up. So your hands on there serve two purposes. Number one is simulating you're grabbing somebody's shoulders and pulling them down to the knee. Number two is protecting your partner. Remember that because they have to do it next. Okay, so here we go. You're ready. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Three, 
Det er det sorte, så det er out. Det er sorte band. Band. Out. Yep, yep, yep. All right, next one, you're gonna push off the floor, and that straight leg, you're gonna bring it to the back. And go. Okay, right back down. Now, just a suggestion. This is up to you. This is a nice, shiny bamboo floor. Sock slide. Yeah. Okay? So, it's up to you if you want to take your socks off for this one so you have better grip. It's on the street, you'll have shoes. But it's up to you. Whatever you want to go for. All right, so we're going to turn to the right, hand on the floor. Yep. And up. And back down. Remember, you always want to face forward. You're always facing forward. All right, here we go. Lay down. Everybody start from the bottom position. Starting from scratch. Ready? Hands. Go. Yes. I didn't stay up yet. Lay down. The thing is, I don't want anybody popping up yet until you get the proper position. Because if you just pop up automatically, you don't know if you did it right. So I want to take it in steps first, so everybody gets the movement. Ready? Hands. Stay. Up. Good. Down. What is that? Turn. Hands. What happens is you're taking your leg, bang, 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 down! You're taking your leg, oh, instead of shooting it back, to bring it just straight in. So from here, down, hands! You're here. Okay. Up! You want to take this leg back. Come on, baby. Yes. Yeah. Down! You want to brace your weight on your hands. Now we're doing it in one motion. Okay? 
Now, mind you, you're going to be wearing shoes. So when you kick with shoes, you have a much, you have a nice hard surface area to kick with. So it's not going to be as pronounced the heels or whatever. It may be flat, and that's okay. The heel, the shoes are solid. Ready? Go. They kick. Just kick.
feet grows her out. Would you like feet grows her out? So you don't get pedicures? No, fine. You can feel other people touch by getting a pedicure is fine, but if someone else touches it, you like it. It's feet. I don't like them. We all have them. I can actually kick things up with my feet. That's gross. I do. I put a pencil I put stuff on the floor. I've never been down. I wonder if I ever used that pencil that you picked up. I'm sure you have many times. A dumbbell, maybe?
need to rest, you drop your knees down and you come back to position. Three, two, one, and hold. If you find you're sliding, put your feet against the wall in the back. And breathe. Control your breathing. Put your hands flat on the floor. Breathe.